first riff or song that made me want to play guitar or bass. I did pick up guitar first um, before I played bass. Uh, I'm one of those one of those guys. Um, but when I was getting into hard rock and uh, music in the mid '70s and mid to late '70s, um, at that point I was definitely just playing a tennis racket in front of a mirror and doing my best to mock all the favorite bands and stuff I was listening to. Uh, but it wasn't until I heard uh, Kiss Alive 1, uh, and the song Deuce really is the thing that really did it for me. It's such a simple thing, but it's so heavy. sold after that. What was the first song I wrote for our band, for Armored Saint? This song called Madhouse uh, was a song that I brought to the band and uh, I believe it was just a bunch, a couple of riffs I had and the, to co collectively we arranged it into the song. So we had a three song small EP um, and uh, it had just come out I believe in early summer and then about a month or two later we uh, we got a gig supporting Motorhead. I felt like we kind of wrote it in tribute to playing with Motorhead like a couple of months later because the song was written literally that summer and I think we even debuted it there at that show. Uh, and it's just, of course, it's a Motorhead inspired song, Thrasher. <laughs> Game's favorite riffs to play, band riffs from Armored Saint. A lot of the stuff that I really have fun with is this the more uh, groove oriented stuff rather than the fast thrashy stuff, although that's fun too, don't get me wrong. Um, but um, I think the slow, slower mid-tempo funky stuff is um, really fun for me to play even after all these years. Uh, uh, one of the songs is called uh, You're Never Alone from the Delirious Nomad record um, and it just has a real solid bass line that grooves with the kick drum uh, and I th I always uh, appreciated that, that the kick and the bass always should lock in together and I that's something I'm always looking for anyway, especially nowadays. But... <laughs> play and haven't played since like 87 or 8 or something. Uh, it's a song off of Raising Fear uh, called Legacy. Very challenging for me uh, still even today. <laughs> from the new album. There's quite a bit. The first song on the record is called uh, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants and it's just got a great uh, great uh, sort of galloping groove uh, and the bass part, I mean I was sort of thinking like a Phil Lynott 
type of thing when I was writing it and playing it. And yes, I did use a pick on the record. Um, I just felt like it added uh, a lot to the to the part, and uh, I always pay attention to that. So, uh, whatever the song wants, the song gets. This record is called "Punching the Sky," by the way. Armored Saint, "Punching the Sky." That's our new record. And uh, another one of my favorite songs to play is uh, uh, it's called "Lone Wolf," and it's a kind of a, a mid-tempo, heavy, dark tune, um, but. Uh, uh, John Bush and I are always trying to incorporate uh, R&B anytime we can uh, into music, in our, into our songs without it sounding forced or anything, because uh, we're both huge uh, R&B fans. It's fun. It's uh, kind of uh, exploits uh, some mid-tempo groove that we've kind of done in the past a little bit, but also it sounds really fresh and new. Uh, the intro is cool too, because I wanted it to sound super dark and get your attention, so what better way to do that than to uh, let a little Black Sabbath come into the picture. So...